know it's been a while. That's mainly because of my mic situation. Because if you go back and watch my pri uh, my previous videos, a lot of them are kind of staticky, and part of that's because my voice is kind of gruff. But mostly, most of it is because my mic situation isn't what it's supposed to be. But I'm working on it. I am. I'm trying. Anyway, this would be a new what if. What if Naruto was a sword god? And without further ado, let's just get into it. Um. Like, not the birth of Naruto, but like an ultrasound, kinda. I don't know what the shinobi world will call it, but we're gonna say like, uh, he was getting like one of his first checkups inside of Kushina type stuff, right? And during this checkup, you can kinda, I'm gonna say, as a baby, you have some type of chakra, right? But, you know, it's not, an, it's not a large amount. It's just enough for people to be able to verify that you're an actual child, right? Anyway, anyway. So as Naruto, as Kushina's getting this evaluation, the person that's doing her you know the little baby's chakra evaluation comes in and when they go to evaluate naruto's chakra doing his little you know jutsus and symbols and stuff um like he's shocked almost paralyzed with the sheer amount of chakra that naruto has Ch naruto has a, a, the amount of chakra as if like he was a maybe five year to ten year old boy right so as he goes and he says this minato is he's like he's proud but terrified because that's not supposed to be possible, right? So, you know, he goes and reports this to Haruzen, and since he told it to Haruzen, Haruzen instantly tells him to not say it to nobody else. Like nobody, this goes past nobody. In fact, in fact, the person that did Naruto's like little ultrasound thing got killed due to the fact that he was so like he was trying to tell um he got caught trying to tell somebody else. So Haruzen and them had to make the executive decision. To kill that boy off he, he's no longer here with us anyway so um yeah who's uh kuni fuck i messed i messed up her name kushina's fucking like pregnancy was after that like was damn near kept under wraps all the way up until you know naruto's actual birth so it was harder for obito to find out where naruto what kushina was but that doesn't mean that it was impossible so after naruto was born instead of him using naruto as bait so he'd be able to get minato away from kushina Instead of doing that, he uses the fact that he doesn't know where they are. So he goes and uses a bunch of like clones and stuff. Like he switched up his plan. Instead of the Nine Tails attacking the village, he was going to use a bunch of bandits and stuff that he like could use or scare into going toward the Leaf Village. And he was going to use that as a means to try to bring, like bring out Minato so he could try to see and find out where Kushina is. But by the time he does all of that, Naruto has already been born and the seal has already kind of started to like reach like not like be loose anymore but by the time he finds Kushina you know yeah so he does end up still getting the nine tails which does result in Kushina's death and you know yeah well not her death immediately because she's an Uzumaki but you know yeah it's just Naruto was never in the in the line of what's of it like in the line so instead of him like using naruto as bait he actually had to fight kushina a little bit because you know pregnancy is a lot but she's a she's a uh she's oh man she's an uzumaki so they they got that chakra they got that pool of the chakra so so she's chilling she's chilling so she tried to fight her all fight him off now minato sensing kushina's chakra he instantly you know uses his flying rajin to get back there by the time he does kushina like how halfway has the nine tails extracted from her so you know yeah there's that and instead of it was it wasn't even classified as a nine tails attack it was more or less classified as the mass man attacked and you know he brought a few people so the organization the organization of the akatsuki is already a thought process in people's minds because the way they attacked was more like low ranking people attacking and then the high ranking people go after the actual target type stuff right anyway um during this little altercation, Zabuza also gets dragged closer toward the Leaf Village because he was getting scared by, not wouldn't say scared, chased by uh, Madara. So he get, you know, to get people into the Leaf Village to stir up some trouble so he'd be able to get Kushina. So he basically, I wouldn't say he sees all this shit happen, but he senses it. So he knows who Naruto is. Like he was around, right? So after, you know, because you could kind of sense Naruto's chakra. Naruto's chakra is damn near like if you took like if you if you was making cinnamon rolls in the oven and it was like a foul smell in the house but you can only smell the cinnamon rolls because the cinnamon rolls is potent type stuff anyway 
Um, I don't know why I compared this chakra to cinnamon rolls. I don't. Anyway, um, yeah. So after that point, Naruto, we're gonna skip to like when he was like maybe. Oh yeah. So we're gonna skip to the point in time where he had to help Hinata in the um woods with them three people. Naruto during this time has a stick. He has this stick that's maybe roughly about the same size as a small sword. It's just thick enough. And Naruto has had this stick for maybe about three, four years. He uses it to train, play train, by with the shinobi that watch him. They don't actually teach him anything. Naruto just likes chasing them with the stick. And if they stop, they just so happen to exchange blows after a while. Because, like, nobody, they don't mess with Naruto. Because, technically speaking, Naruto still, he still has the nine tails sealed, sealed inside of him. I don't know if I mentioned that. He still has that. That still happens. Kushina and Minato are both still dead. They just didn't die as fast as they originally did. Kushina died due to the fact that Ninetales was taken out of her. And Minato died because he was fighting Obito to damn near near exhaustion. So we won't be seeing Obito anytime soon. And we won't be seeing Minato because, well, he's dead. Anyway. Um. That. Yeah, I don't know why. So, yeah. Okay. Um. So Naruto stumbles across Hinata and the three guys in the, in the, in the, uh in the woods so they're pushing her around teasing her all this other stuff and naruto at some point in time he's goofy and stuff but he knows like this is not right so he walks over there and he's like hey y'all should stop but keep in mind since naruto had had this large amount of chakra since he's like since he was like one nobody knew who naruto was they could sense him but at that point in time that was just like a feeling they had like it was just always this small person around with a, with an abundance of chakra just nobody could find him Right, but after a while they trained Naruto on how to suppress his chakra. Okay, okay. Anyway, so the people obviously not knowing who Naruto is, they go to start trying to bully him. Naruto, not taking that like lightly, because they go to push him. He take you know, he gets into a little sword fighting stance and the little kids start mocking him like we don't have training, so we know you don't have training type stuff. So they go to start like trying to jump him and Naruto with like a swipe of the sword knock one of the little kids unconscious, like completely, like he's out gone, cold. Right, and as this is happening, Naruto's chakra spikes. So Hinata, the the dude that's supposed to be watching her, and everybody within the twenty meter radius has just felt Naruto's chakra go from, um, maybe a kid of ten years old because they're what six to a, 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 a child like you know, I got I'm fifteen years old. You know I got that much chakra type type stuff. That's the best way I can put it. I don't know chakra measurements. Leave me alone. Um. Anyway, so the dude gets there. He sees Naruto's like chakra, and he sees how like it's not even chaotic. It's just calming and cold. So he sees it, and he's like, "Oh yeah, nah, this clearly is Naruto's doing." It. So he grabs the other two boys and Hinata, and he runs toward the Hyuga compound. Naruto he shrugs his shoulders, kind of knowing what's gonna happen, cause the Hyuga compound is kind of known for treating Hinata like this fucking princess. So he kind of knows what's gonna happen, cause he's seen the look on the Hyuga like on the on the guard's face as he was running away. So he grabs the other guard and like walks up to the nearest like shinobi and is like, "Hey, um, I knocked him out cause he was messing with Hinata." And he tried to, and him and his friends tried to jump me. Right? And the closest, he, um, like, not Ambu member, but the closest Shinobi was somebody that was supposed to be spectating Naruto. But since Naruto's chakra pool is so big, you don't really need to be close to Naruto to know where he is. So, you know, he just walked up to dude and was like, yep, I did that. And the guard, like, takes Naruto and the little boy up to Ruzen. And, like, shortly after they get to the office, here come the Hyuga members and a few more guards, Hinata and the, like, Hyuga elders and stuff, you know, coming to bash on, like, coming to bash Haruzen and some more stuff because that shouldn't have happened. But, you know, Haruzen obviously taken up for Naruto. He's like, what? No. Naruto just sat here and told me. And the little boy, after we healed him, confessed. So he looks at the two little boys that sat there and just lied. And he looks at the guard that just like took what he saw for for law and just ran with it and he's like he's telling him like yo y'all really messed up like that's crazy y'all was really finna try to get naruto in trouble like haruzen was heated because not only does naruto have the nine tails but naruto by himself even without the nine tails is pretty fucking strong like yeah and just to tell you the nine tails is still interrupting with naruto's chakra flow it's just you know he's a god so it's not much that the nine tails could do to a being that has a stronger will than him even if he doesn't know it yet anyway um yeah so after that happens the Uchiha massacre happens Naruto kind of senses it happening because you know he's so in tune with chakra because he's a he's a sword god and you know yeah well he's a deity kind of yeah 
He's a, he's a mortal deity. Imagine that. Gee, I'm a god, but I can be killed. But, you know, anyway, anyway, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop and get back to the story. So he finds, he gets up out of bed. He goes there and he sees, like, you know, Itachi, you know, putting Sasuke inside of the Genjutsu. And he walks over to Itachi. And Itachi looks over like, I didn't even sense this kid. Who, like, who, where the fuck? Like, he, in his mind, is kind of spazzing. So he jumps back, like, with Sasuke in tow because he don't trust Naruto at all. Like, I don't, I don't want you anywhere near my brother. <laughs> Anyway, so, yeah, he jumps back, and he asks Naruto, like, why is he here? Does he know this is Uchiha place? Like, you can't be here. And Naruto, like, looks at him with, like, this real empathetic look. And Naruto goes, like, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't, I didn't think you were going to do this. Right? And this kind of throws Itachi off. So he's like, oh, yeah, he got to go. So he goes to, like, try to hit Naruto. It's like, kill him. Like, full blown. Like, he tries to kill Naruto right then and there but he senses the nine tails so he's like that's gonna be a bigger problem if i try to kill him right my bad if i just blew into the mic my nose kind of got stuffy right there my apologies um so he goes and tries to incapacitate naruto and he succeed and he succeeds but he notes how like he naruto tried to die like naruto was able to dodge his first few abilities even without like having anywhere near the amount of training that he has right so yeah there's that and at, right after he and the masked man leaves Haruzen and everybody else shows up and they note the fact that naruto's here but they also note the fact that naruto's guard isn't here like naruto normally has a few people with him almost all the time but the fact that his guards aren't here means that he was able to give them the slip so that means that he's holding out like Haruzen gets pissed at naruto strictly because he feels like naruto's holding out on him like the amount of power that naruto holds is is more is more he has more than what he's letting on to believe so like after naruto wakes up he's like looking at Haruzen. now you gotta think naruto is almost looks at Haruzen like a father figure although that's not his actual dad you know he you know that's like the only other person that naruto really talks to so he gets up he's like you know He's trying to get Haruzen to like talk to him or whatever, but Haruzen's pissed. Like he's just standing there, right? And like, at, like when Haruzen opens his mouth, he's like, "How did you get past your guards?" And Naruto stops, like, cause he was rubbing his eyes and all that other stuff. And he like stops and he looks at Haruzen like with a serious face, and he asks Haruzen, "Did you think they were gonna be able to stop me?" And like he goes back to rubbing his eyes, and Haruzen like this this makes him mad. It makes him so mad, but he can't like he can't express that because if he expresses that to Naruto, knowing the type of person Naruto is, Naruto's gonna feel like shit. So he's like, you know, Naruto, if you gonna go out next time, just tell me. Like I could go with you, or I could send some faster people with you, or some stronger people with you. And Naruto, he's like, I'm sorry that I didn't tell y'all, but. I had to do what I had to do. And, like, he lays back down on the bed, and he apologizes again to Haruzen, like, I'm sorry, but, you know, I couldn't just stand by and let that happen. And Haruzen gets shocked, because if, as far as he's aware, Naruto has been nowhere near these conversations of the Uchiha clan being killed off by Itachi. So how he knows, like, it was maybe he was thinking maybe it's a coincidence that Naruto was there, but the fact that he was there and he knows that that's why he was there, like, he, like, this sentence shivers down his spine. But at the same time, Naruto, underneath that exact same breath, he asks him, like, where's Sasuke? And Haruzen, not really know, not really knowing what else, much, what else, much else to do, without having much else to do, he kind of tells him, like, yeah, he's in, like, the room next to you. And Naruto gets up and he walks in there and he apologizes to Sasuke. And this makes Sasuke mad because he doesn't want anybody's pity because of the third literally just finished coming in here apologizes to him right meanwhile naruto apologizes leaves the room and like he goes and sits back he goes like he leaves the whole hospital like he's no longer in a hospital after he got up and apologized to sasuke he left right and like a few days after that the school starts and this is like not one well, yeah so the school start and as school starts naruto and sasuke do meet up like out side of school like walking toward the school so sasuke like he kind of asked him like why you apologize you don't even know me i don't know you right and sasuke not sasuke naruto kind of tells him like you know i, I kind of know how it feels to lose like stuff like you know i don't even know my own parents 
like he just Naruto goes on like this deep sentimental spiel as they're walking to the like to the academy together. Now like, he doesn't know his like he doesn't know his parents and all this other stuff. And like Sasuke is listening to this and he's like, "That's crazy," but like I don't know you. Like I've never seen you before. And Naruto's like, "Yeah, I get, I get that a lot." That's alright though. And Sas like um Naruto's like that's cool. Like he punches him like he punches Sasuke's shoulder and Naruto like his husband's like, bro, we could be cool, like we could be friends. And Sasuke, you know, after hearing what Naruto said, he kinda like Sasuke kinda comes to the conclusion that the only other person that might slightly be able to understand him is Naruto. So he kinda agrees, like, yeah, right? And then Naruto, after going on this long sentimental spiel, he goes right back to the same Naruto that I making him out to be in this one he's like oh sweet like we could we could sit next to each other in the school we could eat next to each other type stuff and this like kind of makes sasuke mad he's like i have no idea what i just like i should just said no right they get to school and naruto's still bragging but everybody notices naruto and they're kind of confused as to why sasuke somebody that is well known is hanging out with naruto a kid who literally just popped up in the village today like outside of being in the hospital, Naruto has not been in the village outside of um him saving Hinata and getting maybe a few checkups. No, he has not been out training. They just haven't put him anywhere else because of the sheer amount of chakra he has. You know how you know how debilitating that would have been for any known clan in the Leaf Village to know that a kid from a, a half bred a half bred Uzumaki child has more chakra than most of all the clan of most of all the people in the village put together. That'd be debilitating. Anyway, so yeah, Hinata notices Naruto, of course, and she walks up to him and thanks him like for you know saving her the other day because this version of Hinata actually has a little bit more, you know, outspokenness about him. Like she talks more. And Naruto tells like, you know, I can't just stand by and let like bad people like that just do stuff. And she also goes on to tell him like, you didn't have to hit that kid that hard. And Naruto's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I just hit him with the stick. Right. And this obviously piques Sasuke's interest. So he turns around and is like, yo, what are y'all talking about? Like a stick? And at this point in time, Naruto doesn't have the stick anymore because he entered the academy. So Haruzen gave him a pretty sturdy wooden sword. So... Yeah, that, that that's what's going on as of current. And anyway, uh, yeah, he go Naruto goes on to tell him the story, and Sasuke's like, you know, we have to train after this. Like, I gotta see these skills, this stick, your chakra. Like, what's going on with all of that? Like, I know you were strong, but ain't no way you have no sword training and you're that cold with a sword, right? So, so Naruto agrees to a sword fight with Sasuke somewhere, like sometime during the year. So we're going to skip to like the beginning of the year. So a few days before they actively go and get put in groups. Right? Right. So then they get Naruto gets the challenge from Sasuke the few days before they get put in groups. And Naruto accepts the challenge. Because at this point in time, Naruto and Sasuke has almost like got this brother type friendship going on. Like Sasuke, if Sasuke is going somewhere and he needs somebody to go with him, Naruto's there. Vice versa. Like it's the same thing. Like they're not. They're together in this as a team, a unit, right? Anyway, so, and Hinata's also there because, you know, Hinata was talking to Sasuke. And Sasuke thinking that Naruto actually knows Hinata because he don't know her. He don't know him. And apparently Hinata has known Naruto longer. So he actively tries to include Hinata in whatever they're doing because he thinks Hinata is about the closest thing Naruto got to some friends besides him. You know, because he's assuming that Naruto's in the same boat as him, which he kind of is. Um, anyway, so, um, they get, Naruto accepts the challenge, the instructor starts to fight, Naruto pulls out his little wooden sword, they're scrapping, like, they're wholeheartedly scrapping, but Sasuke has had actual training, so Sasuke does have the upper advantage, up until he cuts Naruto, and Hinata kind of remembers when the dudes push Naruto, when Naruto stumbled back, it was like if, when Naruto takes damage, when Naruto takes damage, he enters this little weird fighting. He's almost like a god of war. But it's like for sword. Like he enters like little sword mode. Anyway, so like he Naruto gets back into the stance that he started to fight in. And as he gets back into the stance, he starts oozing this cold and calming chakra. Like it's it feels threatening, but you can't really tell. Right? And as Naruto goes into move to strike. Sasuke notes like he's extremely fast now and he goes to dodge but he's barely able to 
and luckily the instructor was able to block the blow with his arm. I'm recording. And and as the instructor blocks his blow with the blocks the blow with his arm, he tells Naruto like you know he should probably like that that's it like the training match is over. Technically speaking, Sasuke won, but Sasuke knows if Naruto was able to land that other hit, that would have been it. Like that that fight would have ended almost right there. Sasuke probably would have been headed to the infirmary. So you know he's walking with Sa like he's walking with Naruto and they're talking and he not took a kind of tail like Sasuke on the inside is furious. Because Naruto isn't supposed to have a real training. So the fact that he was able to almost, like, detrimentally hurt me, hurt him is crazy. So, like, Sa like Hinata's trying to make sure Sasuke's alright. And Naruto, he's confused. Because Hinata's never really shown this much interest into Sasuke. So, Naruto thinks, oh, maybe he, he she likes him. So... He's like, he's like letting it happen. He's watching. He's, he's getting, he's all smiling and shit. And Sasuke looks back and he's like, in his mind, he think this shit is cute. He almost fucking killed me a few seconds ago. And he thinks this is cute, right? Like he's smiling. Meanwhile, that's not what's going on inside Naruto's head. Anyway, but after a while, Naruto catches on that it was just the fact that it was just, he was stronger. So Naruto eventually starts like not training with Sasuke, but they start doing more training exercises outside of school. And the day of them getting put inside groups, they get, you know, assigned to their normal groups. And the only reason why Naruto and Sasuke are still in the same group is not because of the uh, intellectual gap that they have. It's because Haruzen wants to keep them right next to each other because he thinks that Sasuke is going down a dark path. And he is. And Naruto, as far as he's aware, is going down a light path like you know they're going down two different paths so he figures if he keeps them together maybe as a collective they'll go down a great path like you know they'll split the difference because he doesn't want naruto to be too holy and not be able to kill anybody but he doesn't want sasuke to just be out here killing anything that comes to that like comes past them so you know he puts them on the same team and he tells kakashi like hey keep an eye out on naruto because you know he damn he broke his instructor's arm the other day I forgot to mention that uh, the instructor had to go to the infirmary because when he like he had to look at his forearm because, you know, he has the sleeves. He had to look at his forearm. And when he did, like a part of his forearm was purple, like swollen and purple. So he had to go and get it like healed. And when he went to go get it healed, he told the doctor and the doctor went to go tell Haruzen. Like, yo, this man, Naruto, broke the, his instructor's arm with a wooden sword. Right. So Haruzen basically puts off giving Naruto a metal like an actual sword due to the fact that with his bare strength alone and with no training, he was almost able to break like he was breaking his instructor's arms. Like not, not completely, but, you know, to the extent where he would have to go get it healed. Anyway, so they get their teams called out and Kakashi tells them all to go to the roof. And Naruto's like envision isn't even to become the Hokage. It's to to create a better world because in his eyes the world that he sees now it is broken there's, there's people dying people people starving to death people fighting each other all the time like it's it's not it for naruto and as he says this he kind of tears up and sasuke is like why are you crying right and like that make like that kind of throws sasuke and sakura off like why are you crying bro <laughs> anyway but like so, like Kakashi, he he like looks at Naruto and he tells him like with like this most serious like voice ever. He's like, that's a that's a serious path you want to take, Naruto. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of blood down that path. And Naruto, he like he's he he's like, yeah, I know, right? And he and Sasuke like he tells him like, yeah. Anyway, I just want to kill my brother and get vengeance for you know my clan. And Sakura, not Sakura. Yeah, Sakura goes and fucking says her little thing, you know, how she wants to be with Sasuke. And Kakashi tells them all to meet him at the, um, to meet him at the training ground and to not eat. And Naruto just agrees and, like, starts walking off. And Kakashi's like, I didn't dismiss y'all. And Naruto's like, but, but you were going to, because if you weren't going to, you would have just told us to go to the training ground immediately. Instead, you told us to come to the roof. Right? And... Sasuke is like, yeah, he's, I'm, I'm going to kind of just go with him, right? So he kind of just, like, pisses off Naruto, and it kind of just leaves Sakura and Kakashi there. And Sakura is like, well, if you had any training for today, he's like, no, no, I was going to dismiss y'all. 
And this is going to end this part off. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. Anyway, this has been Shinobi. Peace.